Um, so today, I, uh, I, I do come from Des Moines, Iowa. My name is Tej Dhawan. Uh, I sit at the intersection of innovation, technology, and strategy at a uh, global financial services company. We had our start 144 years ago selling insurance, life insurance. As that grew into 401k products, other retirement products, uh, we started to deploy those assets. So the 632 billion John referred to are our customers' assets under our care that we deploy around the world, 80 plus countries, and we have to do so amongst all of those regulations. So with all the optimism around AI, with all of the challenges that you just heard about regulation uh, and, and how it affects financial services and insurance, uh, the case study I'm gonna talk to you about is not deploying something, but decommissioning something. Uh, why? And the reason for the why will become clear in a few minutes, but I wanna talk to you a tiny bit about where I come from. So I've, I've only been at principal for about five years. Prior to that, I tried to help uh, get the startup community uh, get going in central Iowa, which is what brought me to another MIT program called REAP. Prior to that, I had a tech startup for 16 years running out of Des Moines, which served the prison industry. So I've gone to jail a lot, just not to MIT. Uh, <laughs> uh, but essentially, essentially, we collected a lot of data and tried to come up with predictions. When we sold that company in 2010, uh, that's, when I, that's when I had this interest, and, and long story short, I ended up at principal. So uh, asset management, the $632 billion. All of that money is invested on, on our customers' behalf by investment analysts, by investment professionals uh, who consume data. So about six years ago, if you're looking at the, the generative AI waves of technology, today being fourth, six years ago was the first wave. At that point, our analysts were drowning in data. So public data like uh, 10Ks, 10Qs. Public data like uh, investor reports that were coming out, PowerPoints, whatnot. Emails, blogs, macroeconomic trends. Things like that were causing more and more human interaction with those unstructured and structured data elements. Um, so a part of, our, uh, part of our data science team at that point, working with several colleges around the country, several student bodies around the country, ended up creating a consumption uh, engine that started to look at those data elements that our analysts could use to augment their knowledge on a daily basis. Many of us have key results, KPIs, that, that we are measured on on a monthly, quarterly, annual basis. Analysts are measured at market close every day in various countries. So it's a 24-hour cycle. Uh, so that data had to be consumed quickly. And as we, as we consumed all of that, uh, the analysts did get their quantitative models. They started to predict uh, what a company's earnings might be vis-a-vis -vis what they actually ended up being. Um, and as that grew, we incorporated some of those learnings and insights into our own products that those analysts use on a daily basis. So why, why am I talking about decommissioning? Because what you all did was faster. Um, and and that's, what, that's what I look at. At the intersection of innovation, technology, and strategy, we look to see if what somebody else is doing can augment us at a higher speed so that we can continue to differentiate ourselves in the markets where we do better. Our expertise is in deploying capital around the world. So if your products, your innovations, help us succeed and create those uh, insights quicker, uh, we will adopt those. So my interest and my colleague, Sean Johnson, who should be here shortly if he's not already, uh, our interest is in talking with those of you who have specifically looked at these markets and, and figured out things to do better, faster, quicker, cheaper, maybe. Uh, and, and we want to learn. So I'm available, I will be, I will be around, and I look forward to talking to you all. Thank you.